Good evening. My name is Sukanya, and for today's FII for VIT today, I'm going to talk about Anup Goswami's sudden arrest case, based on the charges of abetment to suicide, that stirred a huge political message and far-reaching ramifications in the minds of everyone. So, breaking down the points that you should be aware of on this news. Firstly, why was he arrested? Republic TV editor in chief Anup Goswami was arrested by the Mumbai police on 4th of November in connection with the death of interior designer Anvar Nayak and his mother Kumud Nayak in 2018. As reports suggest, the 53-year-old interior designer and his mother committed suicide in May 2018 in Alibagh, and his suicide note claimed that Goswami and two others had not paid him rupees 4.5 crores. even after repeated appeals and that led to financial constraints on his family the transaction had allegedly taken place during the construction of the republic tv studio the 47 year old founder of republic tv was detained for more than a week ago and remanded to custody for 14 days on fourth morning at around 7:55 am the policemen barged into the residence carrying cameras and refusing to let the family contact a lawyer they thrashed anab and held him by his hair i was writing on a paper about what was going on they snatched the papers from me and told me i'm not allowed to write anything said samya brata rai wife of mr anab goswami the police on the other hand said rai told the legal papers that they were presented with at the residence on that day Videos went viral the next day all over the news and social media about the entire scene at Goswami's house. Frequent bursts of argument and clout were to be seen, along with Goswami shouting at the cops to stay away from his family and not hurt them. Disputes between both the sides created a rage and denial for cooperation. It can be seen in the video that some policemen were harsh in handling the people involved but some did request him politely to cooperate. Anup Goswami accused some of the Mumbai police of having physically assaulted him while arresting him and breaking the laws. A video that aired on Republic TV showed that Mr Goswami was shouting from inside a police van alleging that a prison official had attacked him. He even mentioned that his life was in danger and that he was not allowed to speak to his lawyer. This happened while he was being transferred to a jail from a makeshift covid quarantine center where he had been tested negative. The high court in Mumbai refused to grant bail to the top Indian TV news anchor. Goswami had earlier also filed a regular bail plea before Ali Box Sessions court for release from judicial custody which was also denied. Goswami then went further to challenge the Bombay High Court order of November 9th which had rejected the bail plea while asking him to move to sessions court for regular bail. The plea by Goswami before the Supreme Court states that his arrest was illegal, malafide and politically motivated as evident from the multifarious proceedings initiated against him. his news channels republic and republic bharat at the behest of the political dispensation a supreme court bench of justices t y chandrachud and indira banerji on wednesday ordered the release of republic tv owner and editor arnab goswami and his other co accused on interim bail after hearing the appeal against the bombay high court order denying goswami interim relief The Bombay High Court was in error in rejecting the application for grant of interim bail the bench held. If this court were not to interfere today, we are traveling on a path of destruction of personal liberty undeniably, the bench had said. Goswami has recently also been critical of the Maharashtra government, which is run by a coalition headed by the Shiv Sena party, a former ally of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party. BJP in the state Republic TV says that Mr Goswami has been targeted over his journalism Mr Deshmukh said nobody is above the law a host of senior leaders and federal ministers belonging to the BJP have also criticized 
his arrest, saying it was an attack on the media's freedom of expression. But the main opposition Congress party, which is a coalition partner of the Shiv Sena in Maharashtra, has accused the BJP of selective outrage. There are multiple opinions and theories on the arrest case of Anub Goswami. Was it really a pro political propaganda of, or a case of fair judgment under the laws? Nobody can particularly say. Thank you.